my crafty friends and welcome back to Sandy's Creative Studio. I hope everyone is doing well. Um, so today I am going to begin a fall journal. Um, now I haven't got my book yet. I ordered some um, Reader's Digest. I love Reader's Digest. They just make the perfect size journal cover and I ran out of those. I have a few other but they're too small. I want the bigger size. Um, so I wanted to show you what I'm working with. I have to give a big shout out and thank you to uh, Fifi, the paper crafter. She asked me if I'd like to be on her design team and I, I said yes, definitely. Um, I saw her field notes digital kit and I absolutely love it. Um, so I wanted to show you what we'll be working with. Um, so I wanted to show you uh, the pieces. So um, this is the... Um, cover page to show you what you have. So there's several um, sheets of paper, um, bingo cards. I love how she did the bingo cards with the animals on them. They're so cute. And um, the the animals, the circle cutouts. Now I've cut out the circles, I've cut out the bingo cards, and the words. I love the words too. Um, I, so I, don't, I haven't been able to find a stamp that says vintage so I really love her words. I'll be using those. And then there are four different envelopes that I can use as well. I love the envelopes. I love the color. Just pretty colors in this too. So I want to show you a few of the pages. Full pages. Make sure you guys can see everything. Okay, I'm going to come up just a little. Okay, now I love this because it's got a bunny. I love bunnies and a baby deer. This one has all kinds of animals. Love it. So I'm going to show you these and then a few other things that I'll be using as well. And look at the colors on this. Beautiful. So I'll be using her sheets and I'll be using the pages and the cutouts. And look at that. I love that. Beautiful. Okay, so those are... That's that part. Um, now I cut these out. These will be great on the pocket. Now I am planning on doing a pocket and a tag. And then putting together signature. Cute. I love these bingo cards. Okay, and then the other thing that I did, um, these this came off of another um, cover page. Um, this wasn't necessarily, um, I don't know if it was supposed to be something you cut out. I think it was just one that shows you the pages, but I cut those out. These will be perfect for a tag or a um, journal card. Beautiful pages. So I have those that I cut out, and uh, it tells you right here what you get. 20 pages total, 12 journal pages, and I cut the rest of it off. So here we go. Two pages of cut aparts, 10 journaling cards, four large envelopes, 12 journal pages, and eight pages of elements. So that's what you get with that. And um, we're going to... I'm going to begin with uh, working on a tag and I wanted to show you what I started with. This was something I actually made last year. I absolutely love it. I didn't get around to using this in my um, journal last year. I think last year it might have been a fall slash Halloween and I love the colors. That's beautiful. I love browns and oranges and burgundies together. I just love it. I have my, my house all decorated just for fall. I have a fall uh, garland. I have a ceramic um, jack-o'-lantern. So nice. And this is a tag I just made. Um, I don't, I don't know if this was supposed to be for a boho, but I've been working on a boho journal. I might have made that 
Um, but I looked at it again and thought that would be a nice fall tag. Um, so not too long ago, I ran out of um, um, manila folders. Um, and then I went to Walmart and found a color, of, a pack of mixed color. And I love it, especially on the back side. You still have plenty of journaling space. So that's what I'm going to be making. But I still want to show you I have so much um, laid out. Now, I um, just did a swap. And these are some envelopes that I got. Oh, these are perfect for the journal. Love it. So I'll be using these. And... Um, I have a flip out that I made. I went ahead and made that before I came on because I did some sewing and my sewing, my sewing machine is behind me on another table. And the one that I have over here on this desk is behind everything. And I have a lot of stuff in the way. So I made this just a, a flip out page because this is the perfect color. Um, but I may come over here and do some stenciling I may put some kind of decoration over here, but I don't know what yet. So like I said, I'm starting out with those couple of tags and then I'm going to put together some signatures. Look at that one. That is the perfect envelope. Uh, I have a few more things I want to show you. This, I, I think, I believe I got this on the, um, on the swap I just did. Anyway, I know that I had some flowers too, but I think she gave me this. And check this out. I don't know um, where she got these, if these are die cuts or what, but they have glitter in them, and I love glitter. You guys know, if you've been watching me, I love glitter. And gold glitter? Sweet. So I got those. Um, I have this sunflower pack. I have leaves. This was also in the swap. Uh, swap. Something she gave me. This was something I purchased. I really want to use the um, the leaves and the straw hay. And, uh, oh gosh, I'm <laughs> forgetting what they're called. Oh, what are these called? Um, um, I will think of it um, by the end of the video. And if not, you guys can let me know. What is it called? Something horn. It's a, oh, I forget. Anyhow, oh, I want to show you the envelopes that came in the pack. Love it. And then I will um, glue these and probably put some goodies in these. I love it. I love fawns. They're so pretty. And I love the chipmunks. Okay, so this is something else I got in the swap. Another envelope. She just sent me all kinds of beautiful pieces. Now, I believe this was something I pulled out of a magazine. I just love that plant. Love the color. And let me show you. I got a couple of other um, flower pages. I got to show you those. I love the colors. Um, and this came out of my book that uh, shows you how to paint flowers. These are the perfect colors for the journal. Um, I paint. But I am not that great at doing flowers, so I really got to look at that book and practice. And then I just have some other um, pieces of um, little ephemera that I can use. I want to show you this, this is gorgeous. I believe I got this in a um, fall kit that I purchased. And then some other goodies as well. I just have so much. I wish I could show you it all, but that would take up so much time. Um, I know that right now I am taking up a lot of time. <laughs> so this may or may not be two videos. I'm going to move this out of the way. This is the fabric that I got for the journal. Love it. I mean, the picture was nice, but it just does not do this fabric justice. It's gorgeous. Now, I have ordered some Reader's Digest. Um, because I ran out of them and I love to use Reader Digest. So I ordered some of those. I'm going to use one of those when I get it. I will, um, film that, um, putting the, um, the cover on. Um, so today, like I said, I want to do a couple of, uh, pieces and, um, 
then put my signatures together. Okay, so this is something that I think I put together for my boho journal, and I didn't use it. Um, and then when I looked at it again, I thought this will be perfect for the fall journal that I'm getting ready to do. Um, and then I have a journal card. Oh, I hope I can find the journal card to show you what I what I did. I made it last year. Oh, I also have a sunflower pack. And I have these that I purchased, I believe, uh, maybe Walmart or something. Um, doo -doo 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 -doo. I want to show you that. I'm not sure where it is, but anyhow. So I cut out um, a square for a pocket. And I have this tag. And I'm going to put this down on it. I'm going to glue it on there. And then... I'm going to collage on it, uh, maybe not what you would actually call co collage, but I'm going to put different pieces on it and that'll be my background piece. And this will be, um, I don't know if I'm going to glue the pocket down, but if I don't, I will clip it on with a beautiful um, um, paper clip that I have and then this can be used to journal on. So anyhow, let me get on with doing this. Oh, I found it. This is one that I did last year and I never really uh, used it. Obviously I didn't use it. Um, but I just collaged the different pieces and I even have a belly band here. I thought that was the cutest thing, having the belly band. And this is one of my clusters that I made. Uh, I guess this was last year also. And then I put a couple of pieces that I thought just uh, had the fall colors. Okay, so I'm going to lay that to the side, and oh, these are pieces that she had on, like, the cover page that was showing you the different sheets, but I cut them out to use individually and put those on a tag or a journal, so I'm going to leave those. Um, another thing is, I love words, and I'm so glad that she included words, because I cannot find a stamp that says vintage. So we have inspire, believe in yourself, vintage. And I love that it says vintage and specimen. And then there's also some cutouts, circle cutouts of animals. So I'm going to go ahead and get started. Um, I don't want this to take up too long of your time. Okay, so I'm going to lay that to the side. I am going to use my Yoohoo. I may or may not take this to the um, sewing machine to sew around it. I'm going to use this piece of paper to lay down because my because my uh, mat is really really dirty and I have glue on it. I need to get a new one. So yeah, I wanted to use this because I don't want. I'm, I'm going to be sewing it down so I don't really need something that's going to um, hold it down like a fabric tack or something or a fabric fix. So i got to line that up better. At least with the Yuhu, it gives me time to get things right. Yeah, that's good. I think I might have to trim it a little, but I'm not messing with that right now. Okay, so I want to get out some of my um, pieces that I got. Oh, check this out. This is um, going to be in the pocket. Um, I think I got this in my um, fall journal stuff that I ordered. Let's see what else I have. I have some of this. And I have some other pieces. Let's see, what did I do with my other pieces? Oh, and I have turmeric dyed paper, and I have um, avocado dyed papers. Okay, there they are. I had, had these buried, so these are some of the things I wanted to use. Oh, 
Um, and I got this. I have Dream. Not sure where that's going to go because I really want to use one of those uh, pieces from, from Fifi. Okay, so I'm going to... Don't need this piece anymore. Or I might. Let me see. I'm going to go ahead and trim it. And I love that I found these tags. Found them on Amazon. I get the bottom here. There we go. Okay, so. Oh, I forgot to use this. Okay. So I want to look at this for inspiration because I really like that. And I probably do both of them similar. tear it. Or I could put that on the bottom. You know, one thing I didn't think about was um, fabric and lace and that kind of thing. And this is my um, scrap sorry silk and lace and oh, it's full. I have all kinds of beautiful pieces in here. I have a gold piece. That would look good. Oh, yeah, I like that. Then I have this piece. I'm just pulling out some things to see what would go with it. Oh, I have a black piece. Where's that black piece? Look at this. This is so nice. I just had it with my pieces for the longest time. So I'm gonna lay that to the side. Okay. This might be something I put on the side. That would be nice. Okay, what else can we use? Just the top of that? I just, I don't think so. I don't know if this is what I want. I like this, I'm gonna tear a piece of this. <clears throat> Ah, uh, you know what I want? I have some music paper. Let me find my music paper. Where did I put my music paper? I have these pieces. So they're going to go in my um, journal. Oh, and I found this in with some papers I forgot that I even had. Um... Now I can't find the, oh, I think I just found it, the music paper that I wanted to use. I think I am going to use this. So I want to use this and tear it. Going to tear that, don't need all of that. Okay, that there. I could do that. So I think I am going to use those. Um, I have some orange, um, sorry, silk ribbon. I might do a little scrunchy thing on it. Um, oh, look at this. This is beautiful. Okay, so I am going to go ahead and tear that. And I'm going to get my walnut stain. Probably going to have to um, tear it and then distress it again. This side. Okay. 
See what I mean? I gotta turn that off. I don't like to have a whole lot of the margin showing. Okay, I put the lid on my ink. Don't want it drying up on me. I've had that done before. Okay, so I'm going to use my Yoohoo. I probably should have kept that paper. And I'm gonna use the Yoohoo because I'm pretty sure that I'm gonna take it over to the sewing machine. Just making sure I got it lined up. Gives me a little bit of time, but not a whole lot. Okay. Now I like that, but I could do, I could do that. And I'm just having a play, having a go with it and see what I like. Um, let's see. Let's see, I want to use one of these, one of Fifi's animals. There's the rabbit. I could use the rabbit. I love the rabbit. And then maybe a word. No, I don't want lost. There's field notes, lost, nature. Oh, I like that. Okay, so if I'm going to use nature, I think I want maybe something else. Maybe one of these. I put one of these at the top. Oh, that would be really cool. I'm going to get my corner rounder out. Oh, that's not a corner rounder. Put out my heart punch, and that wasn't what I wanted. So, yeah, let's get these corners. See if I can get that in there. You know what? I have another corner around there that may work better. Let me see what I have. It was buried. It's crazy that one of them doesn't cut paper and one of them does. That one actually does better with, um, Ooh, is there anything in there? This isn't going to do anything. Well, maybe I'll end up having to do it with my scissors. Okay, I'm not using that one. Okay, I'm getting the other one back out. And then I dropped something, of course. Oh, I could do that. Okay. <laughs> I found it. I want that is so what I want to do right there. So you just have to have a play when you're doing collage. And do what you like and what you think is fun. Okay, I'm going to use my scissors. I don't know what's going on with my punches. This one did not do right. looks better. And I'm going to move that piece. All right, so I'm going to go ahead and glue these down because I really like this. Very happy with it. Okay, so I got that piece. Um, I know I don't, probably shouldn't use this. Let's see, I was about to use my, my Fabrifix because this is heavy, but since I'm not um, going 
Uh, since I'm going to be sewing it, I don't think I really need it. Okay. I'll just glue this down. Make sure it's straight. There we go. That's straight. Now I'm wondering should I sew it first? Have that like this. I think it should be okay. So I'm going to go ahead and put the rest of the pieces down. Why not a little distressed ink? Okay, put him down there. Let's see. Let's see, where did I want that? Like this? All right, I'm gonna cut it around it. Okay, on my good scissors. Surprisingly enough, I found them. <laughs> Underneath my, my bits and pieces and papers, it was buried. I can see that pink there. Cut that down. Cut that down. I didn't cut that very well. Okay, so I think I'm going to go ahead and sew. Oh no! That cut the uh, rabbit. Oh. Okay, so I'm just going to cover it up with another rabbit. And then we'll never know that that one was there. Okay. I didn't realize I was cutting that much off. Okay, so... Make sure this one has some good distressed ink. You know, stuff happens when you're crafting, and then usually you can cut it, um, cover it up. Or make something out of it. Okay. And I like that. Uh, 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 um, this just ink, it looks really good. Okay, so there we go. I mean, instant, instant fixed. Okay, and then pieces out of the way. I'm going to have this here, and I think I'm going to have nature underneath, just like that. But anyway, I'm going over to the sewing machine first, and I'll be right back. Okay, I had a time with my sewing machine. It uh, wanted to bunch up in the back for some reason or another. But I was able to get it unbunched. I just, like, like I said, just bunched up. So anyhow... Let's see. Here are the pieces I was going to put on it. Mm, I like that. I think I was going to put it underneath, but it still looks good. I put nature here and put that here. I'm wondering if there's anything else, but I really like that the way it is. So I'm going to use some Fabrifix. Because we have the lace, lace sewing, uh, lace gluing on paper. I really like this because everything comes out slow. 
and you don't get a whole bunch at one time um, of glue, but it's, it's, it takes its time. Okay. So I'm going to use some more Fabrifix on the leaf. Let's see, do we want to do gold on gold? Now I'm thinking that I don't want to do gold on gold. I have other leaves in the bunch, or I have the leaves. Let's see. Move my scissors out of the way. I have pumpkins. So that would like, be nice. I really like these leaves. Oh, there's another one. Oh, and that's just about the same. It's okay. Green. I found the green. That's what I was looking for. I think that's going to look. Yeah. Oh, look at that. So much better. I love it. Because I like how the green pops. And I love these um, kind of leaves. So there we go. That's what I'm going to do. All right. Just got to glue this down. And I got to put a topper on it. And then we'll move on to the pocket. Whoops, that here, and nature across the bottom. I wonder if my sewing machine just didn't like that I glued stuff down and, you know, it didn't dry first, and that's probably what happened. Look at that, I love it. Okay, so now I'm going to get my, I'm just going to use these. Oh, actually, these don't work so good. Let me get my crocodile. That's right, I was using it the other day and I forgot that it's not working very good. And I don't know if I want to use an eyelet. Let's see what colors we have. I mostly just have white. White and um, the brass color. I had silver and gold too. Actually, the um, bronze color would probably look really good on this. So I'm gonna eyeball, eyeball where I want the hole. And look, there's a um, spot that was already on there. That's probably perfect. There we go. Now, let me see how that runs. There we go. Definitely. I'm so going to do that. I like that. Okay, I'm going to set this aside. Now, like I said, I have my... box of goodies. <laughs> Not purple. I don't think I like gold. Yellow. Definitely the yellow. Wow, I didn't know there was that much yellow in there. It's good to have. Alright, let me cut that off. And I don't want to cut too much, so go with that. Put that to the side. May need it again. All right, let's see if I can get that in there. Gonna have to get my pokey tool. It just works perfect for pushing the lace through or the um, the trim. I'm so glad I went with yellow. 
because it pops so nicely against the red and burgundy. So I'm just going to cut these at an angle. They're a little bit too long. And there we go. I got the tag done. So cool. All right. Now we're going to do something similar to this. Got to uh, clean up a little bit of scraps first. And that piece, look, I can uh, cut the top off there. I have a piece I can use. All right. So my purple. Sorry, I'll be right back. I got to find my uh, purple uh, folder. Okay. I'm losing a lot of stuff. I don't know where it's going. I actually had to cut out another piece. Okay, so I'm so excited to just be able to have a play. I have some pretty colors here. I have my music paper. Oh, look at this paper. This is out of a different um, paper pack. This is off of uh, um, Stamperia, a fall Stamperia. I love that. I'm probably going to use that in the journal somehow as a page. All right, so let's see what else. I might use these. I love them. They're puffy. So sweet. And then I might use some um, leaves. Probably going to use a piece of the, um, the, the seam. Sorry, seam. Um, do, 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 do. You know what? I love the circles, but I love, oh, that, look at that, like in the corner, but I'm going to keep that there, but I think I want to use one of these and maybe use the word specimen. Yeah. Something like that, but now I got to figure out what I'm going to put under it. Okay. So what colors? I love this. I know I use this a lot. I really love it. But I'll use something different this time. Let's see, what have we got? <laughs> I got some yellow. Maybe some yellow and a piece of the this. I do like to use my music paper as something just behind it. Um, I wish I had some more of that brown. Love that brown. And let's see. I know I want to do field notes. Um, so you use nature on the other one. There's specimen. Okay, I'm trying to figure out how I want this. I don't want that that much anyway. I think I'm gonna have to cut that because I really would rather have a straight edge on the bottom. See, now I want to have like a neutral background not a whole lot going on in the background because my pieces are going to be the focal point that I want so I'm going to go ahead and glue these down I'm happy with this I guess I just have to uh, wait a little bit longer um, to dry before I use my sewing machine that was really messed up but you can't put wet glue in a sewing machine okay I'm gonna bring that over a little bit like I said I'm glad that I have a little bit of time using the the yoohoo glue oh I have that at the, let me see I'm thinking of maybe a little bit of um, lace of some kind at the top That would be pretty, but let's see. I could do 
Uh, see, I need something that's going to cover up that. But I could just cut it off, I suppose. Oh, I found some brown. Okay. Okay, not sure what's going on, but my phone cut off, so I am back. Let's see. I have this, and we we'll have this. And maybe a little piece of that. But anyhow, let me go ahead and glue these down using the Yoohoo stick. Glue this down. Whoa. <laughs> Put this underneath. I like that. I like that a lot. Okay, I think I'm going to use my distressed ink here. Wonder if I can go ahead and put some on this. Hopefully it's not too late. There we go. Nice. Okay, so I'm going to cut these down and then I'll figure out the design. I think I want to use a leaf. I love those leaves and I love the pumpkins too. But I want to use something from Fifi's beautiful kit. I like that. I really do. I just love how these two colors go together. And I have this and I want to do a, um, like a scrunchy piece, but I think maybe I'll put the specimen up here at the top and then go with something like this at the bottom. And then I can still do my scrunchie on the side. And then I probably won't be using this. But that is pretty. Maybe I'll use that for something different. All right. So I know I want to glue this down. Put this at the top. Scoot it over. Now I'm going to have to use my scissors to round it. That actually works really good. Yeah. I like that cut out. I think I'm going to put it there. And then I can do my side, but I don't think I want yellow. Oh, I want the orange for sure. Okay, so let's glue that down. And I think before I do any more, I'm going to go ahead and use the sewing machine on this piece. Oh, look at that. That looks so good to me. Okay. So talk so much yourselves, I'll be right back. Okay, I'm back, got it sewn. And I really love the blue because it really pops against the, the yellow and the reddish color. Um, I love this, um, but I believe this is going to have to come in on the, um, on a journal page. Um, Cause I'm about done with what I want to do with this. I don't want to do too much. But maybe I will put a pumpkin on. All right, so I'm going to do this piece first. Go ahead and put down some glue. I'd love to do ruffles. So we're going to make an orange ruffle. Okay. So I'll lay it down here. And then just scrunch it. Okay. 
It's wanting to stick on my fingers. I hate it when it does that. And then it picks things up. The lace up. Let's see. Let me make sure I have some glue here. Don't stick. <laughs> there. I like that. Okay. Oh, I like that. Okay. And do I want a pumpkin? I think I want a pumpkin. Oh, okay. So anything else that I want here? I think we're good with that. I probably use these as um, pockets as well. All right, so I think I'm going to put a pumpkin on it because it just needs something else. And I'm going to put some extra glue on it, even though it's sticky. I'm going to make sure it sticks good. Oh, I love that. And simple is beautiful okay so my phone keeps cutting off i know that it's full so i'm just going to finish up here real quick we're going to do a, a topper and that'll be all we're um going to be able to do in this video because i need to get my um videos off the phone because i have several things that i want to post so i am using my my uh Going to use my crop it out and try and get it even here. And I'm just going to use the pink for a topper on this one. And then we'll have the topper, I mean the topper, we'll have the card and the tag. And then on the next video, I will be putting together the journal, the signature pages. Um, that way it gives me time to figure out how many pages I want to do, what I can find. Let me stick that in there. There we go. Okay, so like I said, I'm just doing the topper and we're done for today. Okay, let me try that again. So there we go, we got a pocket, and I think it looks nice with the topper. So I, I added a topper. And we have a tag. And I really hope that you guys enjoyed watching because I have so much fun playing with fall colors. And I love what um, what my swap partner gave me, and I love Fifi's kit. And again, like I said, her kit is called Field Fall. Field fall field notes digital kit um please um check out her shop i will add that in the description below and you can purchase this shop um this kit and many other things as well so i hope you guys will hit match the like button subscribe and the bell notification for more videos to come like i said the next one will be the signatures thanks and bye for now